We have received a sample of the Maizu MX4 Pro and have been testing it for a few days now. The MX4 Pro sets itself apart from the competition with a 2K display and powerful hardware. These high-end specs come with an equally high-end price. Let's start with the overall design and finish. Design is not spectacular. You can recognize some of the features from other brands, but overall it feels quite good. There is a slight gap between the border of the screen, but it's minuscule. Maizu did make the edge a little less sharp compared to the MX4, but it doesn't change the grip. The Pro is slightly bigger than the MX4, but the increase in size does not make it more cumbersome. Maizu did move the power button to the top of the phone, which makes it a little hard to reach sometimes because of the size of the phone. It would have been better to have it at the right side. The fingerprint reader, which is integrated into the home button, is a great feature of the MX4 Pro. You can record up to five fingerprints, both horizontally or vertical. Recording fingerprints does take some tries, but once you have it set, it works quite well. We've had no problems with the fingerprint recognition. It worked 9 out of the 10 times, and the reader is quite responsive. The fingerprint reader can be used to unlock the screen, unlock apps, or use Maizu payment option, but that's for China only. The 5.5 inch screen is quite good with a resolution of 2560 by 1536 and a pixel density of 640 ppi. The specifications sound very good of course, but you really have to look closely to see the difference as you can see from the two screenshots. Have a look at the two zoomed in screenshots. A 2K display is better, but the difference isn't very noticeable and is more of a marketing term. The aspect ratio of the MX4 Pro is 15 by 9, which makes it impossible to fully display 16 by 9 content, which is a little of a downside of the phone. Because of the ultra high resolution, the screen looks less bright than some of the others, but overall it's not bad. The screen is still quite readable in direct sunlight. The MX4 Pro runs on Maizu's own FlyMe OS. This ROM is based on Android KitKat. With 5GB it does take quite a bit of the 16GB of storage, which is quite unfortunate because the MX4 Pro does not support SD cards. Flyme OS does take some getting used to. Maizu wants to build a complete experience, but there is still some work to do on the ROM. One example is a settings menu, normally found in the status bar, but here only on the home screen. Bonjour, Maizu. Also, some features of Flyme are a bit limited compared to stock Android like the voice assistant which lacks languages. Bonjour. It also requires an internet connection and it isn't very precise. How are you? Hello, Mei Zhu. Chinese Euro 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 
There are some good features of Flyme OS, but most are catered towards Chinese. Gestures are a great addition to Namix 4 Pro. They make the experience much better, and especially for a big smartphone like this, it's very useful. Overall, Flyme OS feels a bit unfinished. Maizu came a long way with the development of Flyme OS, but there is still some work to be done to improve stability and accessibility. Next up is the camera. The boss of Maizu is a big Apple fan. And here you can see that quite clearly. The camera app has a lot of different modes you can see in the iOS app, like the slow motion one. One other feature that stands out is the night mode. While it is not possible to change the ISO to get a better picture, the transition between light and dark feels very natural. However, it isn't quite up to the task when the lighting is complex. Also, the photos tend to wear the right a bit. 4K video is great, except for a disappointing white balance when you're taking videos outside. The battery. With a large 2K display, you expect the battery not to last so long, but it really depends on usage. With normal use, we would, could run the phone for about a day and a half. This was just using the phone normal, like short calls, messages, nothing too heavy. According to forum users, if you turn on the 4G, you can get up to 12 to 14 hours. Playing some two-day games, the battery quickly dropped 52% in two hours. In terms of temperature, the Pro is a little bit more temperamental. With heavy use, you can easily feel the rising temperature on the edges of the phone. Last thing is the charging speed. From less than 10% up to full takes an acceptable 4 hours. Concluding, Maizu impressed us with their efforts in designing the MX4 Pro. Overall, the MX4 Pro is an upgrade from the MX4 and with software updates to the Flyme OS, this could be a contender. Thank you for watching and don't forget to comment.